Can I ask you just three or four times now just use the phrase little Gazas? What, what do you mean by that? Well, they call themselves the Gaza Enca Solidarity Encampment. They're little, they're little Gazas. <laughs> Hello and thanks for watching once again, especially those of you who have been around since the beginning in 2010. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. All right, so today I have a clip from this Sunday's ABC News This Week with the covert Joe Biden campaign operative, Jonathan Carl, who gets triggered and starts defending woke anti-Semitic pro-Hamas zealots because anything that Republicans are against, Jonathan Carl will automatically be in favor of. I haven't commented much on these pro-Hamas rallies because my instinct is just to let the left to eat itself, but this is just too absurd to ignore. They're spray painting buildings with vile anti-Semitic hate. He said, well, we shouldn't have anti-Semitism or hate speech in the abstract or Islamophobia. W where are the encampments, John, on campuses spreading Islamophobia? Why is Joe Biden so equiv equivocal? Why does he have to draw a moral equivalence between thousands of students who are setting up these little gazas all across America, engage in hate speech, engage in hate speech against Jews, assaulting Jews, disobeying the law, and, and some fictional encampment that's spreading Islamophobia. Can I ask you just three or four times now just use the phrase little Gazas? What, what do you mean by that? Just look at that struggle session face of disapproval. Notice how Jonathan Carl suddenly doesn't care about the anti-Semitism or the quote hate speech, but now he's suddenly defending the honor of these anti-Semites who are spreading hate speech because Tom Cotton called them little Gazas. Oh no, don't call them that. It's not as if they're actually calling themselves Gaza Solidarity Camps, converting to Islam, dressing up like Hamas, and attacking Jewish people. How deeply and blindly ideological do you have to be to make this outraged face when someone calls out these clearly brainwashed and deranged anti-Semitic left-wing goons? Well, that's different. But when it comes to this just the facts newsman and his ideological allies, suddenly he's clutching his pearls over an accurate description of them. It's just another example of how utterly untrustworthy these supposed news journalists truly are. Well, they call themselves the Gaza Enca Solidarity Encampment. They're little, they're little Gazas. I mean, are you a human? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it seems like you're mocking the situation in Gaza. This well, a lot of, a lot of these people the do deserve. These, these people do deserve to be mocked. Well, no, no, you, Gaza. With, Ga I'm talking, you know, Gaza. No, right now, we, 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 we had the World Food Program has just now said that there is an outright famine in in, in parts of Gaza. Say what? Get the flip flop shit on me. Real quick, I just want to chime in here and point out what Jonathan Carl is doing here by deflecting and suggesting that Tom Cotton is trying to minimize what's happening in Gaza when this is all about the left-wing, Democrat-supporting, woke, LGBTQ crowd who are now cozying up with Jew-hating Islamists that are threatening and even attacking Jewish students. And you gotta know that they're defending these people because they know the country looks at this and they see something that looks way worse than January 6th. Tens of thousands of people have which, died. I mean, which you're, you're using this phrase, little Gazas. Like, which is 100% the fault of Hamas. <laughs> Just like every civilian casualty in Gaza is 100% the fault of Hamas. Yet Joe Biden for seven months has leaned on Israel, has pressured Benjamin Netanyahu, has told them to stand down when they get attacked by Iran, has said that they can't go into the last holdout where Hamas has its final terrorist battalions. And to that point, Biden has recently blocked shipments of congressionally approved ammo to Israel in order to get something that he wants out of them. Didn't Donald Trump get impeached for doing that? Oh, that was different. But no, th these students on campuses, they deserve our contempt. They also deserve our mockery. I mean, they're out there in their N95 masks in the open air. That shit ain't funny, motherfucker. With, their, with their gluten allergies. <laughs> demanding that Uber Eats get delivered to them. They should not have been allowed to fester on campus for two weeks when these liberal administrators and liberal politicians refused to send in the police to clear them out the very first day they set up their tents. Oh, what? Oh. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. All right, folks, what do you think? Am I out of my mind? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. I post long form and shorts regularly, so keep checking back for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.